If you add a number and its additive inverse, you get 0. Like, if you have 5, the additive inverse is minus 5. Because when you add them, you get 5 minus 5, which is 0. So, minus 5 here is the additive inverse of 5. So, what happens if you multiply minus 5 by minus 1? You get your number, which is 5. So, the same applies for binomials, trinomials and stuff. If you have x minus 2, the additive inverse will be minus x minus 2, right? Because we just put a minus in front of our number to get the additive inverse. Now, if, so this is equal to, by the way, if you expand the brackets here, you will get minus x plus 2, which is 2 minus x. Now, x minus 2 will be same as minus 1 times the additive inverse as in here. So, minus 1, let's check this out. If you expand the brackets, you will get minus 1 times 2, which is minus 2, minus 1 times minus 6, which is x. Now, if you change the places, you see you get x minus 2. So, as a summary, if you have a binomial like x minus 2, you can write the same thing as minus 1 times 2 minus x. You just switch the places, and then you multiply by minus 1. Another example, if you have 2a plus 3, this will be equal to minus 1 times minus 3 minus 2a. Because when you expand the brackets, you will get 2a minus 3. Or if you have, say, 3c minus 4, it will be minus 1 times 4 minus 3c. So you just swap the places of the terms and multiply it minus 1.